Hello and welcome to this handmade jewelry making video. Uh, in this video I will show you how to create an anklet using a cowrie shell and some cord. As you can see I have a shorter bit of cord which I will use for the sliding knot. This one is about 20 15 to 20 centimeters long and I have another two cords that are a bit longer and they are for the anklet itself and these two cords are about 25 centimeters long. Um, in order to make this uh, surf anklet um, I will take these two cords. First of all I will superpose the cords and make a knot at the end of these cords. Like this. So I have made a knot here and now I will mark the middle of the uh, anklet and I will make another knot at about this distance here. Like this. So I have made two knots, one at the end and one about in about the middle of the cord. And now I will put the shell in between these two cords like this. Let's see from a closer distance. So exactly next to this knot to prevent the shell from moving left to right I put the shell and as you can see one of the cords is below the shell on this side of the shell and the other cord is in the ridge of this shell on the other opposite side of the shell and now I will make these two cords cross inside of this shell so that the shell does not fall off so I am going to take one of the cords and put the cord through the shell like this. So the shell that was on the cord here, above the cord, will go through the shell and come out on the other side, through this hole. And I have the other cord that was on the lower part of the shell here, and I will put this cord that was on this side here, through the shell and make it come out on the upper side of the shell. So let's put the cord like this and take it out on the upper side of the shell. And now what do we have here? As you can see the two shells have crossed here inside of the shell. And now let's pull on the two threads, as you can see the two cords are crossing inside here, inside the shell, so that the shell doesn't fall out. And to prevent the shell from sliding in this direction here, because it could move like this, you see, and to make it, to stop it from moving in this direction, we shall make another knot here. So in order to make a knot, I will take one of the cords, put it over the other cord and take it out here, on this side here. And now I will put the cord through the loop that I have created. And I am creating the sliding the knot that I wanted to create.
something like this. And now, as you can see, I have created a knot on this side and I've also made a knot on this other side. So our shell is flanked by two knots. This way it cannot move left and right on the cord. And now, after I have created one knot here at the end, two knots to flank the shell, I will also make a knot a fourth knot here at the end of our cord. Like this. So we have a knot at both cord ends and now let's create the sliding knot so that we can put the anklet on the ankle and take it off. So I will put the cords like this one over the other as you can see here and I will take the shorter bit of cord that I was planning to use for the sliding knot, I fold it like this and I find the middle of the cord. And like this I have put the cord with the middle point under these two cords and I will make a simple overhand knot. So I cross the cords like this, take the cord out through here and make the first knot like this. And now I will create loops. I will create loops once on the right side, then on the left side, then on the right side, then on the left side and with by means of these loops I will create the knots of our sliding knot. So let's see how we make this sliding knot. I create the first loop on the right side. The thread on the, the cord on the left side will be put over the cord that came from the right side and underneath these two cords, like this. And now I will take the cord out through this loop here. And I will close the knot like this. Now I will make a loop on this other side, put the cord over this cord, take it under the two cords and out through the loop like this. And I make the second knot. So as you can see I already made two knots. Again I make a loop on the right side, put the cord from the left side over the first cord and take it out underneath these two cords like this and take it out through the loop. And again I will make a loop on the left side, bring the cord from the right side over the first cord, under the two cords here, like this, and take it out through this loop. And now I will tighten the knot and I have made another knot like this. And I will continue making knots until there is no more cord here. Like this and these two cords are now too short to uh, be able to make a new knot so I will cut the cord. Like this. And to prevent it 
from um, opening to prevent the knot from opening I will simply take some glue and stick the two knots here and now Now, as you can see, our anklet is ready. So, as you can see here, we only needed one shell and some cord. And to make the anklet, I crossed the two cords inside of the shell so that it doesn't fall out. And I made a knot at each end of the shell so that the shell doesn't move uh, to the left or to the right on our cord. At the ends of our uh, anklet I made a knot and I also created a sliding knot so that we can close and open our anklet. And the only tool that we needed to make this uh, jewelry item was a pair of scissors. So if you are a beginner and you want to uh, learn how to make handmade jewelry, you can begin with a simple um, anklet like this, where you only need a pair of scissors.